Starbase continues to make significant progress towards its eventual early access release, and developers Frozen Byte are certainly always very keen to show off their current work. Now, it's been a while since I last checked in with the game, and since then, there's been a whole bunch of new weekly development progress reports, so we get to take a brief look at some of those very, very shortly. But before we get to that, Frozen Byte last week released a new trailer for the game, which highlights a bunch of new features and actually gives a great feel for where things are currently. Now you can see that trailer playing right now, and you can also find a link to the trailer linked below if you actually want to go and check it for yourself. Now one thing that this trailer immediately does show off is the great sense of scale that Starbase has. The exterior of the stations is pretty fascinating to say the least, interiors also look detailed and very well realised. The trailer, along with other developer clips, shows off a number of interactive modules and control panels that can be found all over the place, and of course with the ability for players and player groups to build pretty much everything, this makes complete sense. And naturally, much of the production and items that are actually created in the game being player created will begin life with mining, and we get to see a little bit of that in action. The trailer also highlights what looks to be player built factories, and seeing that just about everything in the game can be player constructed, it's not easy really to tell what the production lines here is actually producing, after all it could be anything. But that said, the idea of player constructed automated production lines is a very, very interesting concept. Now, if factory manufacturing really isn't your thing, we also get to see some handcrafted ships being made right here. Now, moving on to one of the most spectacular clips of this trailer, we can see here a scene with dozens of ships flying in mass, and it really does lead to a number of questions, not least if these are actually player ships. Now, fortunately, Frozen Bind have mentioned in a comment on their YouTube channel that they will talk more specifically about how these ship scenes were actually filmed, so we can look forward to hearing about that, hopefully, later this week. So whilst currently there's no hard and fast information on exactly how many players can be expected in any one location, Frozen Byte have previously said that a realistic number could be anywhere between 70 and 100 players visible at any one time. And also, back in August, they released a video of a 30-person developer battle which certainly seemed to perform very well indeed, and this included both FPS combat as well as ship combat, and again, a link for that can be found below. Meanwhile, over the past few months, Frozen Byte have been continuing to release weekly development updates via some rather extensive forum posts, and these tend to take on the format of patch note styled updates, essentially with bullet points explaining what is most recently been added to the game and improved and fixed. The updates also include a screenshot gallery along with video footage highlighting a variety of things currently in development. For example, back in December, these displayed some weapon damage in action. Specifically here, we can see plasma energy weapons and their effect on other objects. Real-time damage states is always a great thing to see in any game. Development updates from this year so far show some nice gallery images. In fact, there's always gallery images, but uh, two here specifically stick out for me. Uh, these are my favourites, a rather moody meeting room, and also what looks to be a command centre, or maybe some type of bridge, and don't forget, uh, player-constructed space stations are certainly going to be a thing here. It's also been nice to see the level of detail that is going into character designs and animations, and this example right here shows kick animations, of which there are a variety. Now, talking of this and talking of the characters in previous videos uh, on Starbase in the comment sections, I've noted a few people uh, kind of uh, be a little bit wary or a little bit disappointed, perhaps, that there's no human-based avatars. Personally, I actually like the robot avatars, and uh, perhaps I guess it gives a little bit more flexibility as their legs and arms can really be switched out for different functions. And also it really gets over some of the hurdles that come with putting humans in space, especially if you want the game to be a little bit more on the realism side. Now another clip shows some of the power of the in-game player usable programming language, and in this example we can see that language being used to direct a torpedo. And also I want to point out very briefly here, in case uh, some of you haven't seen any Starbase videos before, essentially this programming language is very, very powerful, and players can use this from uh, just about everything, from basic command lines right up to some very complex coding. So there should be some very interesting things produced in this regards. More recently, Frozen Byte released a clip on their YouTube channel called Flight Home. 
this one is well worth a watch. It's a fair bit longer than their usual short clips, this one ranking in at just over three minutes. And what really stood out here for me was the part where the player's ship actually starts approaching the home base, where once again we get to see that sense of scale, something that really does come into play to great effect here. So if you're interested in seeing all these development updates and the various clips, do check out the links in the video description where I'll include them all for you. Also, what well worth mentioning is the rather great uh, Discord channel that Frozen Byte have got running for Starbase. Again, you can find a link for that below. On another note, Frozen Byte have put together a survey for those who are interested in Starbase to participate in, and the, the survey basically covers a whole bunch of subjects. But the main objective here seems to be aiming towards getting a real feel for what a MMO should be, or at least what players feel an MMO should be, and what type of activity you as a player would be most interested in should you actually play Starbase. And finally, the survey ends with the option to sign up for a closed alpha. So sign up to the alpha, of course, doesn't actually necessarily mean you'll get in, as invites will be sent out based on Frozen Byte's own criteria. But it's well worth signing up to if you want the chance to get in there. Also, as yet, a launch date for the Alpha has not yet been announced. So that then pretty much wraps up where we stand right now with Starbase. Of course, without a doubt, there's going to be a whole bunch of more information coming over the coming weeks and months, and I look forward to seeing all of that. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys and girls next time.